Now, the Italian-American carmaker Fiat Chrysler has confirmed that it's in talks with the French rival PSA Group. It's Fiat Chrysler's second bid this year to reshape the global auto industry and face challenges like the transition to electric and autonomous vehicles. Joining us now from Milan is Bloomberg's Tommaso Ebhardt. So you could say he's a little bit of an expert when it comes to, of course, Fiat Chrysler, uh, having known intimately um, Mr. Marchioni over the last couple of years and now author of a book. Tommaso, first of all, this is a mega merger. Does it make sense? Yes, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, why? Why? Because uh, Peugeot is uh, the best performer in Europe uh, and Fiat has a big issue with this business in Europe. Second, because Fiat is bringing to the table its uh, US division and namely Jeep, which is likely one of the most, most valuable brand in the globe. Third, because John Elkan, after he lost Sergio Marchione uh, 18 months ago, is getting on board probably one of the best talent in the auto industry. <clears throat> Carlos Tavares is recognized as right. the man who saved Peugeot and managed to turn around Opel. Uh, Tommaso, we, we got so much news flow today. I've just got one more question. Who's driving the bus here? So, uh, Carlos Tavares will drive the bus, uh, John Elkham will be the chairman, and probably Daniele Femmer will be the biggest investor. So we can say that Carlos is driving, but he's driving an Elkham's car. Okay, but the, you, you're saying Peugeot's going to get rolled up into Fiat Chrysler, right? Uh, I mean, they, it, we, we still don't know details. They are still in talks, and the deal has not been signed. As far as we know, uh, most likely it will be Peugeot namely making an offer to combine with Fiat most likely into a Dutch holding company. Uh, they will say most likely it's going to be a an half and half uh, a deal. We'll have to see the terms of the deal to understand exactly who is running the show.